manipulating complex objects in JavaScript. So sometimes you may want to store data in a flexible data structure. A JavaScript object is one way to handle flexible data. They allow for arbitrary combinations of strings, numbers, booleans, arrays, functions, and objects. And below we are provided with an example of a complex data structure. So we are presented with a variable called our music, which is assigned an array right here. And inside the array, there is an object which contains the properties of an album. So our properties are artist, title, release year, formats, and gold. Within our property artist, we have the artist of our album, Daft Punk. The title property contains the title of our album, which is a string value of homework. The release year property contains a number value of 1997, which is the year this album was released. The formats property has a nested array inside of it, which contains the formats that this album was released in. So this album was released in CD format, cassette format, and long play format. And last but not least, we have our gold property, <clears throat> which contains a Boolean value of true, which leads me to believe that whoever wrote this right here really enjoyed homework by Daft Punk. And below we are presented with the information describing what I just um, explained to you guys. So this is an array which contains one object inside. The object has various pieces of metadata about an album. It also has a nested formats array. So if you want to add more album records, you can do this by adding records to the top level array, which is this one. Objects hold data in a property, which has a key value format. In the example above, artist Daft Punk is a property that has a key of artist and a value of Daft Punk. JavaScript object notation or JSON is a related data interchange format used to store data. And below we are presented with our object once again, this time outside of the array. With a note, you will need to place a comma after every object in the array unless it is the last object in that array. And finally, our challenge is presented, is presented to us which is to add a new album to the My Music Array. We need to add artist and title strings, a release year number value, and a formats array of strings. So, pretty simple. Let's just do that right now. Here we are presented with variable My Music, which is assigned an array, and within that array, there is currently one object which holds an album with properties similar to the ones provided in the example. So we have artist, Billy Joel, title, Piano Man, release year, 1973, format, CD, 8T, and LP, and gold, true. So this album is also gold. All right, let's add our new object containing our album to this array. So we need to have the artist property. We need the title property, the title of our album. We need our release year. Year, which will be a number value. We need our formats, our formats property, which will be the, the formats that our album was released in. And let's just see if our album is gold or not. So for this object, our artist will be John Coltrane. Our title for Coltrane's album is my favorite things. Missed that right there. Let's add that quickly. Our release year is a number value, and I believe this album was released in 1961. The formats it was released in needs to be an array containing string values 
Um, I don't really know the formats it was released in, but I'm just going to go ahead and say long play. And in order to add more string values to this array, I'm just going to go with CD and cassette, even though that's, I'm not sure about those. <clears throat> so our array is now complete and gold. Is it true or is it false? I'm going to go ahead and say it's true. I, I really like that album. So we are now done. We have successfully nested another object within our array and added to our complex data structure. There you go.